Hi everyone, this is an Infogram white balance tutorial. Uh, we're looking at a standard Canon A495 camera and I want you to pay attention to these two buttons here. One is function set and the other one is mode down at the bottom here. I'm going to turn the camera on and it's in auto mode uh, and so I'm going to press that mode button down at the bottom which is hard to see now because it's dim and you'll see it's in auto. I'm going to go across to the program uh, mode. Most Canon cameras have this, and say uh, press function set to say OK. Now, it's pointed at a white object, and that, so it shows, you know, it shows a white photo, basically, um, uh, up close. And what we're going to do is white balance the camera to be, uh, to take really optimal uh, infogram photos. So to do that, you want to press function set again. And you want to go down one and see AWB, that's auto white balance. What we're going to do now is go across to custom white balance, and you'll see it's still more or less white. What I'm going to do is uh, actually put a blue object in front of this camera. And uh, what happens is that it's, it sees that it's blue, but if we press this uh, menu button as it's telling you to evaluate white balance, it will try to adjust to make that blue object read as, as, as neutral or, or grayish or white, essentially. So the white balance is um, white balancing against a blue background. Then I'm going to say, OK, function set. That makes everything go away. And you can take photographs normally now. If you go back to looking at a regular so-called white object, you'll see it's kind of got this purplish, or sorry, this orangish hue. Now, that's appropriate. You should especially see that um, plants uh, are, are, are very uh, distinctly orange. All right, that's it. Um, if you go to infogram.org, You'll see uh, the latest in our, uh, our, our research, and there might be an updated technique there, uh, and you can find out more information as well. So thanks a lot, and have fun with your infogram cameras.